Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today I'm going to be doing a favorites video for you guys. But first of all, long time no see. <laughs> I know it's been a hot minute since I filmed. Um, it's been about 10 days since I actually filmed, but I think it's only been about three or four since you guys had a video because I did have a few pre-filmed videos. Um, yeah, I got like stupidly sick, so I was down and out for a little over a week and I was just not about to try to film because I literally couldn't speak very well, so yeah, but we're back. Um, happy April Fool's Day. Today is March 31st, so when this goes up, it should be April 1st, so yeah. Um, I'm calling this my March favorites, but it's really been probably three or four months worth of favorites just because I haven't done one of these in so long, so we're just going to go ahead and dive in because I do have quite a few things to talk about. And I'm going to kind of go in the order of face. So we'll start with primers. I do have two primers. I guess one is technically not a primer, but I use it as one. This is by Farsali. This is the Liquid Glass Radiance Skin Serum. So it's technically a serum, but I use it like a primer. And I have used quite a bit. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It smells very fruity. Oh, like so good. Very citricky but it smells like something, but I don't know what. Almost like Sunny D maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but I really, really like this stuff. It just makes the skin glow. You could wear this as a serum and by itself and have like really pretty radiant skin if you wanted to, or you can wear it underneath your foundation. And I am wearing most of these products on my face right now, but keep in mind I did just get home from an eight hour day at work. So products might be looking a little, a little rough, like there's some eyeliner smudge right there and I've got some glasses marks on my foundation, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. So next is the other primer I have. This is the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I do wear these two a lot in conjunction. Sometimes I'll even wear three primers because I have like multiple different issues. Like I have very dry skin, so I use this to hydrate. I use that to like give some life to my face and brighten it up some so it's not dull. And then I'll use like a pore primer sometimes, but. I really, really, really like this. It smells like coconuts. So good. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. I really, really like it. And it smells great and it moisturizes my face. So I like it. Um, next, we have two foundations to talk about. Um, where's my little baby one? This one is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is a little baby guy I got in Ipsy. I've been like forcing myself to not use this, um, which is dumb, but I really, really like it. I have the shade LN2, which is light neutral too. Um, it's just really good. It's super full coverage, but it's really, really pretty. And it has like a natural finish to the skin. Like it doesn't look like makeup, but it looks full coverage, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But it's really smooth. Your skin just looks like, just smooth, like a blank canvas kind of thing. My hair, I don't know why I'm like hating it today but yeah so I really 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 highly highly recommend this I don't really buy high-end foundations too often but I will definitely be purchasing a full size of that when I run out the one I'm wearing today is this one this is by Becca it's the ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation in the shade linen I don't hear good things about this like ever um, everybody hates this but I really like it um, I'm wearing it today but again had it on for eight hours so be mindful of that. Um, I think really the only thing that's like not looking great right now is my eyeliner smudged quite a bit, um, but that's okay. Yeah, I like the foundation. I think it looks smooth. Like there's not like a lot of excess bumps or anything that happens with a lot of my foundations. It smells like paint, so there's that, but <laughs> I just think it looks really nice. It's really smooth. It doesn't feel super heavy. I can go like this and not rub it off, which you shouldn't be touching your face right now, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna do it. <laughs> um, but I really like it, so I don't know. I am clearly out of practice because I literally just keep saying, I really like this. You guys know I like it because it's in a favorites video. I'm just looking for the eyeshadow brush that I used earlier, so I can kind of like, there we go. Buff this out a little bit. I don't know if that helps like at all. Not really, whatever. Okay, moving on to concealers. I have two of those as well. We're just having like a bunch of twos. So I have these 
these two. This is the one I'm wearing today. This is by e.l.f. This is the 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Fair Warm. Um, they do have a fair neutral, I think, which I wish I would have got, but they didn't have it at my store, so I got this one. It's very light, very brightens, it very brightens. It brightens the skin up really nice, which is why I like it. Um, it's very reminiscent of Shape Tape to me, so it definitely is drying and it is very, very heavy. Even the wand is very large, like very large. It smells a little painty too, but so a little of this goes a long way. You definitely want to be sparing with it. I'm sorry if I'm like, <laughs> but I still don't really have my breath completely back yet. So sorry, but I'm trying. <laughs> but yeah, I just really like that concealer. I think it looks really nice. It lasts all day. It brightens my under eyes up and it doesn't look cakey, but it is like full coverage. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, I have the Morphe concealer in the shade C1.25. This one is more of a lighter concealer. It's not quite as heavy. It's definitely a smaller wand. Also smells a little paintish. This one smells just like the uh, Glamouflage by Hard Candy back in the day when everybody loved that. This one smells exactly like that. Um, it does have lighter coverage, so you do have to add a little bit more if you want to build it up, but you can build it up without it being like cakey or drying. And I don't feel like it is is as drying as the e.l.f. one, but I really like both of them a lot. So there's that. Do I have a setting powder? I thought I did. Oh yes, okay. So this setting powder, I only use under my eyes. And I just tried this out not too long ago. This is the Too Faced Do You Translucent Powder in Radiant Pearl. So it's kind of like a pinkish purple finish. It's like this on the inside. And then you open it up, <laughs> powder goes everywhere. And you see this little mesh thing. I love powders that have this mesh thing because it's just so, so much easier. It smells so good. It smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Um, but this is a very brightening powder and it's not super heavy. So I like to put it just in the areas I want to brighten. So mainly under my eyes, I'll do it down my nose sometimes, the chin and the middle of the forehead. And then I go over it with like another powder and powder the rest of my face. But I use this to brighten and I really like it for that. So there's that. Also, you can get that at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, that kind of thing. And save yourself some money because that's what I did. So, um, bronzer. This guy. This is by Milani. Again, I do have like all of these products on my face except for the eyeshadow palettes. I have quite a few of those to talk about and I only am wearing one of them. But this is the Milani bronzer. It's super pretty. I haven't used it like a ton, but I've been using it every day. Mine is the last like 10 because I haven't done my makeup. But yeah, <laughs> this is the Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 01 Sunlight, and it is exactly what it says it is. It is silky matte, like, it goes on the skin so evenly, so nicely, and it just looks, like, super smooth, like, I don't even know what to say. It just blends really nicely, and it just looks smooth and silky and matte on the face, and I really like it. This has quickly become my new favorite bronzer, so bold to say. Let's talk about that real quick though. Um, Physician's Formula <laughs> was my favorite bronzer, the butter bronzer, but they've apparently decided they don't wanna be cruelty free anymore. So that's really sad and I'm very bummed about it, especially because I just bought like some stuff from Physician's Formula. So I'm probably gonna like still use it, just what I have, I'm definitely not purchasing it anymore, but I don't wanna like throw it out. Um, but I obviously can't use it on here anymore, so that's really disappointing. The Butter Bronzer was my favorite bronzer of all time, and it really sucks, and I'm really sad about it, but, you know, they pulled a white wild on us. They're no longer cruelty-free, which means they are selling in China. So the way they're trying to get around it um, is they're saying that they have, like, an agreement with China's government saying that if products needed to be pulled, they would just pull out of China instead of letting them test it, but... I mean, that's just hearsay, really. Like, you can't, there's no proof of that. So, to me, I am no longer going to support them if you choose to, and you choose to consider them cruelty-free still. That's up to you guys, but they will no longer be featured on my channel, so that really sucks. But back to positive things, I have two blushes. Um, one is actually a blush, blush palette. This is the Auto Bomb Girl Powder in the shades. 
it's messy. Um, Houston Street, Bourbon Street, Bleecker Street, and Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue is actually a highlighter. I have not used that one yet, but I have used the blushes. The one thing I don't like about this is the packaging, just because, like, the little grip is so small that you have to, like, be very careful. You girls with, like, fake nails, I don't know how you're going to get into this. Because my nails are real. They're not really super long right now. They're kind of long, but um, my nails are real, and I struggle to <laughs> open this every time I want to use it. So there we go. Here are the shades. You do get a little mirror too, which I think is great. I have obviously swatched this, but I haven't used it on my face. I also haven't used this one, I guess. So this one's really dark. Um, I feel like it's more of a bronzer on me, but I do use these two. I'm wearing this one today. Bourbon Street, which is my favorite. I'm wearing this um, here on the apples and then pulled back slightly. And then I have another one on top. But <laughs> I really like this. They're matte blushes, but I think they just look really soft on the skin and really nice. And you can definitely make them like super pigmented. See, that one's really dark. Um, super pigmented or lighten them up a little bit if you really wanted to. But I like them because they are pigmented and they're super easy to use. So there's that. I like this one a lot. The other blush I have is this one by Hourglass. Um, it looks like this. This is the Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Dim Infusion. This one's a lot softer, a lot lighter, and a lot, um, not really like shimmery, but it's like just, it glow. it's glowy. Like you can see the difference. And I like to use this almost as like a blush topper and put it just like right here on top of the blush. You can kind of see a little bit of the sheen there. I like to use it for that and make my matte blushes not some hat. So I really, really like that though. It's super soft, super nice. Um, it's gonna do setting sprays. Let me go ahead and spray my face real quick with this. Hmm, okay, this is my glow recipe. Um, it's the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Love this stuff. <laughs> Again, I've used quite a decent chunk of it. I don't use this to set my makeup necessarily. I use it to like refresh my makeup as I just did. And I use it like in between doing my makeup. Like I'll do all my powder. I'll do my foundation, powder, contour, uh, bronzer, blush, all that fun stuff. And then I'll spray my face before doing my mascara. Well, I usually do my base and then like contour, uh, blush, bronzer, brows and then I'll spray my face and then I'll do highlight eyeshadow spray my face again with this and then do lips and mascara and then spray myself with like a heavy duty setting spray so I really really like this though to just kind of like smooth everything out uh, make the powders kind of like melt into your skin I am so out of breath and it's stupid I'm so sorry <laughs> but um yeah, I like it a lot. It looks really nice on the skin and makes my makeup melt into the skin. So I like it. The setting spray that I use to set my face right now anyway is the Stay Spray by Tarte. I can't remember if I've talked about this one recently. I feel like I kind of have, but I really like this. Um, it makes my makeup last all day. You are supposed to shake it. I always forget that. Except for my eyeliner. Apparently that didn't hold up so well, but <laughs> that's okay. I don't wear um, waterline eyeliner too often. The one I'm wearing is the uh, Endless Silky Eye Pen by Pixie, but I mean, it's been eight hours, like it's almost six o'clock and I did my makeup at 8.30 this morning, so it's been a while. <laughs> it's been almost 10 hours. But I really, oh, <laughs> I really think this actually makes your makeup last longer and it looks nice. It doesn't leave those like filmy little white dots all over your face that I hate so much. So, I think it's a win. I do have one eyeliner to talk about, and that is by El Maquillage. El Maquillage? 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 Maquillage. El Maquillage. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce words, but I freaking adore this eyeliner. I am wearing it today. I do have my little, little, little baby wing going on. Um, I suck at winged eyeliner. This makes me suck a lot less, <laughs> um, but it's just like... Super black, super easy to use. It's a felt tip, but it's a really like, uh, it's very big at the bottom and it comes to a really fine point. And it's just so easy to maneuver. Like it's bendable, 
without being like way too flexible that it just kind of goes everywhere. Like it stays where you need it to without being like so stiff it hurts. That's what she said. But <laughs> um, I really, really like this. This has become my new favorite eyeliner pen. I used to love the Kat Von D one or KVD Beauty. I still do love it, but that one, love. <laughs> it's just the best. Um, I do have a couple lip products to talk about. Let me roll up my, my sleeves a little bit here. Um, they are all actually from the same line. So they're from the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe collection. I just did a review on this entire collection, but the, really the standouts for me were these lip products. I think they are so great. Um, the Syrup Kiss lip stains are beautiful. I have the red one, which is called Signature Red, and the pink one is called Rose Kisses. They, that's the only two they have in the collection. I, if I remember correctly, I don't like the smell, no. I don't like the way they smell. They smell like, like perfume spray paint, if that makes sense. But they're really pretty. They look like a gloss, but they are a lip stain. They do stain your lips quite a bit, but they last all day. Mm, I hate that smell, but they're just so pretty and I really, really like them. Um, these are by Hard Candy, if I didn't say that already, but... These are great. <laughs> they last all day because they're stained, so it makes sense. But they also feel nice on the lips. They don't um, bleed anywhere. They just kind of wear off evenly, and then they leave that stain behind. And I think they're really pretty, so I like them. But the other two are these. I just noticed this one has strawberries on it. <laughs> and this one has roses. Weird. Oh, they're in different scents. Okay, that makes sense. This is Coconut Rose. Um, I haven't really worn this one. I'll be honest, <laughs> but oh yeah, it does smell a lot different. I wore this one in the video and that's pretty much it, but this is a pink lip balm and this one is a red lip balm. This one is called Strawberry and that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a strawberry lip smackers. It's that one there. Get a little more red. Um, I adore these. I did reapply this one. This is not from eight hours ago, but they're just super soft, super moisturizing. They feel so good. And they smell like strawberries, lip smackers. At least the strawberry one does. Coconut one smells good too, but strawberry one smells better. But I really like them. I mean, it's a lip balm, so I pretty much like all lip balms unless they're like super waxy. But I really like these and I think they're really pretty. And I think if you wanted to pick something up from the Marilyn Monroe collection, because maybe you're just a Marilyn fan, those are what I would recommend is the lip products. So there's that. Um, what do I have left? Highlighters. I skipped highlights. Uh, the highlight that I'm wearing today is this. This is by Faye Zero. This is technically an eyeshadow. It's in the shade Nude Newbie. But I wear it as a highlight. Oh, so pretty. That's what it looks like. I just really like it. I wear eyeshadows as highlight all the time. <laughs> like a lot of the time. They just last longer, I feel. And I think this one's gorgeous. It's not like super chunky or anything. It's super, super reflective. I mean, it's right there. I like it a lot, so. <laughs> Ugh, I'm out of breath. More highlights. <laughs> These are the Jeffree Star palettes. I have Brain Freeze and platinum ice. I did get these. There we go. I got these in my um, Valentine's Day boxes, which tells you how long ago these have been, but I've been using these quite a bit. I use cold shoulder, cold shoulder a lot. And I have used this blue one a couple times too, called Freeze Tag. Oh, they're so pretty. His highlights are just bomb. Like the Brain Freeze one isn't like my favorite palette, just because I mean, you saw the shades, they're like way out there, but they're really nice and the formula is great. And if you're somebody who is into like cool highlights, then you're, you'll love that. This one I think is more wearable. Um, this is the Platinum Ice one. I wear ice cold a lot. I like Pink Chill, um, even Canary Bling I will wear. Um, I think that's about it. Lavender Snow I've worn before too, but that's not something that I wear like on the daily just because it's purple, which I'm down for a purple highlight. But there they are. But it's a little, like you can see the cast on it when I turn my hand. They are very powdery, but I don't mind that because 
I think they work just fine. <laughs> I think they're so pretty. Packaging's gorgeous. So I definitely recommend these. And his single highlighters are great too, same formula. So if you are wanting just like one shade, definitely pick those up too. Wait, all that's left is eyeshadow palettes and I have a few of those to talk about. Let's start with these. These are the ooh, ColourPop Frozen 2 Anna and Elsa palettes. I think these are really pretty. ColourPop formula is always super hit or miss with me. I either love it or hate it and I love these. I have only used them a couple times but I think they're really pretty. Um, this fire shade from the Elsa palette is one of my favorite transition shades of all time. I love that. Ice crystals. Oh, so pretty. I love silver eyeshadow. So these are great. Super good for traveling. Um, just throw it in your bag. Easy. Love it. And the Anna one, I love just as much. Um, I like this shade called Warm Hugs a lot, which is like a muted berry color with some glitter. And I really like this shade called Adventure which of course is a metallic eggplant purple. Shocker. <laughs> I love purple eyeshadows, but I think these are great. Again, super good for travel. Most of ColourPop's nine palette, nine shadow palettes are great for travel, but these are just really pretty shades and I like them a lot. So moving on, this one. <laughs> this is the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. Again, I just got this in my, um, what are they called? February Mystery Boxes Valentine's Day. That's what that holiday is. I love this. This mint shade. Mm, it's called Mint Tea. <sighs> so pretty. That's my favorite color of all time. Like not just eyeshadow. It's my favorite color. I love Entitled. Um, Ocean Ice is beautiful. <sighs> Jeffree Star's eyeshadow formula is just... It's great. <laughs> like to say the least. I really, really like it. It's one of my favorites. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely up there. It's those three blue shades there. Um, I don't know, it's top three for sure, but I don't know if it's my favorite favorite, but I love his formula. I also have the mini breaker and the alien palettes. I love both of those too, but this is definitely the one that like stands out to me the most that I own. And look at the packaging, you guys, like, come on. <laughs> it's gorgeous, I love it. But yeah, I definitely wanna pick up like, all of his palettes because his formula is great and he has so many different kinds or so many different palettes but moving on next we'll talk about these at the same time i have the riviera and the Alyssa edwards palette i got both of these at tj maxx and they're both by anastasia beverly hills anastasia is another one that i'm like top three favorites i love the anastasia formula and i love these palettes riviera more so i like this one more just because i like the color story more um Let's do some shades we haven't swatched yet. Ooh, let's do Bahamas as a hot pink. So pretty. Polar Polaramo? Palermo? Palermo, I think, is that one. Super pretty. And Inheritance is a gold. Oh, they're gorgeous. The Anastasia formula is just so soft. Right there. They're so soft, so pretty. They're so pigmented. They blend like butter. A lot of kickback on Anastasia palettes, like a lot, but I don't mind that at all. Um, the Alyssa Edwards palette looks like this. Again, gorgeous. Um, we've got Dream It, which is a matte blue. We've got Believe is a matte purple. And then we've got let's do Inspire, which is a gold. <sighs> I just can't like get over how gorgeous those are, they're on my knuckles. I just love Anastasia's formula. I don't know what she does, but it's great. So I recommend just about every palette that I've tried from her. You guys probably know which one I don't care for, but um, if you don't, just watch some of my videos and you'll find out, but yes. Okay, and the palette that I wear on my eyes, which is not like the most amazing eyeshadow look ever. It's literally three colors that I did in less than five minutes because I was running late for work, but this one, this is the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2 from Morphe. Um, I adore this palette, you guys. First of all, the colors are gorgeous. There is literally any color you can think of in here, and I love it. I am wearing Perfectionist in my crease. Um, then I buffed it out in the outer corner with thick skin here. 
I also have thick skin on the under lash line and also love handles on the lower lash line. And then all over the lid, I have Ryder Diamonds right here. So super easy look. I've also done a really fiery look from this palette, which if you watch my review, you'd see that. I love the purples in here. It's just really pretty, you guys. I don't know, like it's probably annoying for me to talk about this because you guys know all the drama, but I just love this palette. I think it's gorgeous and it's definitely one of my favorites. Like my two favorite palettes of life are both of the Jaclyn Hill palettes. Um, which is weird because I'm normally not, oh my thumb there, so pretty. I'm normally really not into Morphe shadows. Like the only palettes that I've liked from Morphe have been the Jaclyn Hill ones. And then I like the Jeffree Star one and the James Charles one was okay. So really the only ones I like are like the collabs. So take that for whatever you will, but that's everything. Um, this video is finally done. Sorry if you guys are really annoyed with this video right now. This was a struggle bus for sure. I am trying to get back into this, but 10 days is a lot to take a break from something and I'm tired. But yeah, don't forget to like this video if you guys want to see more favorite videos in the future. I promise they'll be better than this one. Or if you guys just want to see more of my videos, then like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.